Okay, class. So, I hope naririnig na ako. Pag-usapan natin, class, yung work and energy. Work and energy class ng physics. Pag-usapan natin. And yung work class is not a type of work na trabaho. Pag uh, sinabi natin class na work in physics, work is the product of force and the displacement in the direction of a force. So, paano ba yun? For example, you have, so, for example, meron kayo, so, gawin natin flat, no? For example, meron kayong saheg, flat surface, Tapos, meron kayong object. Meron kayong object. Tapos, hihilahin nyo ngayon yan. Siyempre, nakatayo kayo dyan. Dito kayo. Hihilahin nyo ngayon yan. Tapos, huwag na yan. Dadalhin nyo na lang dito sa part na to. Dadalhin nyo yung box na yan sa part na to. Yung force na yan, na hinihila nyo, mag-exert kayo ng force dyan, syempre, magkakaroon ng displacement yan, or yung kanyang distance, pagka, dinala nyo dyan, which, let's say, D. Ang work class na tinatawag dito is, yung product ng force na in-apply nyo, or in-exert nyo, times. Yung displacement or yung distance from this point up to this point. So, this is work is equal to force times distance. Ito class yung formula ng work natin. Pero class, tatandaan nyo na yung force na yan dapat is the same direction as yung distance nyo. So, kung horizontal yan, dapat yung force na inexert nyo is Horizontal din. Bakit ko ba ina-explain sa inyo yun? Kasi, halimbawa, o oh, flat surface, di ba? Siyempre, ganyan. And yung object nyo, nahihilahin nyo is, halimbawa, maliit lang. Halimbawa, maliit lang. Tapos, siyempre, mapupunta dito yan. Di ba? Ngayon, siyempre, nakatayo ka kung hihilahin mo yan, di ba? And yung i-exert na effort mo kasi is hindi naman totally perpendicular kundi magkakaroon ng angle yan, pataas na ganyan force. Magkakaroon ka ng angle, theta dyan. Ngayon class, dapat yung force na to is the same direction as yung displacement mo which is horizontal. So let's say this is fx. Fx kasi um, horizontal siya. So, kaya Fx siya. So, ngayon, ang magiging work mo dito is W is equal to Fx times distance times yung displacement. Okay? So, kapag ka yung force nyo is um, same direction naman nung displacement nyo, no need na class. Pero, syempre, um, at this um, event or instant, hindi naman totally horizontal yung force na inexert nyo. Magkaroon siya ng angle, theta. Kaya, ang kinukuha natin is yung fx. Okay? So, ano ba class? Yung energy naman. When we say energy, energy is the property of a body or physical system of bodies by, vir by virtue of which work can be done. So, paano ba yung energy? Let's say, class, uh, meron tayong meron tayong bola na nasa bundok. So, halimbawa, nasa taas ng ganyan hill. O, syempre, babagsak yan. Tapos, yung object natin is nandito. 
nandito. Yung object natin na stationary is merong tinatawag na potential. Potential energy kapag ka naka-stay pa lang siya dyan. Pero class, kapag ka dumire-diretso na yan, nalaglag dito na yan, tapos napunta na yan dito, gumalaw na yan, magkakaroon na siya ang tinatawag natin na kinetic energy. And those two energies ay yung pinaka-common na type ng energy natin sa body kapag ka naka-stationary or in motion. So, lagay ko dito, stationary, stationary, or in motion. Okay? So, kapag ka yung isang bagay is naka-stop lang, so, yung potential energy niya is sobrang taas, pagka gumalaw yan, yung potential energy niya is bababa and tataas yung kanyang kinetic energy. Siyempre, sa potential energy, stationary siya, wala siyang kinetic energy. Kasi, hindi naman siya gumagalaw. So, ang formula dito is PE, which is potential energy, is equal to M, which is yung mass ng object, times yung gravity, times yung height. Dito naman sa kinetic energy, Ke is equal to 1 half M, which is yung mass ng body, V, which is yung velocity, is squared. Okay? Velocity ng object. So, ito yung mga kinakailangan nating tandaang formulas kapag ka magsasolve tayo ng work at saka ng energy problems. Tatandaan nyo lang class na yung work is yung product ng force na inexert natin tsaka ng distance provided na dapat yung force is the same direction as yung displacement natin. Okay? Energy naman, yung two type, yung two most common types of energy is ito, potential energy tsaka kinetic energy. Okay? So, yun yun. So, meron kayong kinakailangan ipapaste ko na rin dito yung conversion ng mga units na sobrang kailangan-kailangan nyo. So, wait lang. Okay. Ito class yung conversion na kinakailangan nyo tandaan. So, itong conversion na to is hindi naman gano yung nasa taas. So, no need to. Hindi naman siya madalas ginagamit. Ito class, yung units na kinakailangan nyo tandaan. The, inter, the SI, unit of power, is joule per second. Ito yun, joule per second. International system of units is joule per second, which is equivalent siya sa 1 watt. And alam natin class na yung 1 kilowatt is equivalent to 1,000 watts. Bakit? Nalagyan siya ng kilo. Para siyang 1,000 kilometer, ah, uh, 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meters. Ganun lang siya. Okay? So, ito siya. Yung SI unit of work, uh, power, is joule per second. So, pag yung second na to, inilagay natin dito. Sa kabila is, mamumultiply na siya sa what. So, let's try na mag-solve ng problems. So, try natin yung class mag-solve ng problems. So, problem number one. Example tayo class. A force of 200 newtons making an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal is applied to an object which moves across the horizontal surface a distance of 30 meters. Find the work done by the force. Okay, so first step, yung usual na ginagawa natin is mag FBD or free body diagram. Mag-drawing tayo class ng flat surface daw. Meron daw tayong flat surface. 
meron daw tayong object. Let's say we have an object. And mag apply daw tayo ng 200 newton force na merong napa-slant siya na hindi siya totally horizontal. So, syempre, kapag may work tayo from this point up to this point, gagalaw siya. So, let's say, ito ang force natin. Ito yun. Meron tayong force na 200 newtons. Tapos, syempre, itong horizontal natin, merong angle yan. This is a 30 degree angle. Okay? Tapos, from this point up to this point, ang distance daw niya is 30 meters. 30 meters. Ngayon, pinapahanap sa atin, find the work done by the force. Okay? This is very easy class kasi alam natin na ang formula, so solution, alam natin class na ang formula ng work is equal to force exerted on the object times the distance or displacement. FD. FD na lang. FD. Ito lang yung class. Okay? Pero syempre, yung force na to class is kinakailangan the same direction as the distance. So, kung Kung, kung 200 newton siya, 30 degrees, kinakailangan kunin natin class yung kanyang horizontal component which is yung fx. Okay? So, work is equal to fx kasi horizontal dapat times the distance. Ang fx natin class, ilagay ko dito, fx is equal to, eto class yung force natin. Fx is equal to 200 cosine or sine. Cosine to class kasi adjacent side siya. Ito class yung Fx natin. Ito yung ating Fy. Okay? So, yung Fx natin is 200 cosine 30 degrees. Therefore, input natin dito. Work is equal to Fx that is 200 cosine 30 times yung distance na um, tinravel niya, which is from this point up to this point, is 30 meters. 30 meters. So, kumpitin natin, work is equal to, so, gamitin natin ang mahiwag ng calculator. And class, so, mamaya na unit, sige. So, 200 cosine 30 times 30 is equal to 5196.15. That is 5196.15. Ngayon class, ano yung unit niya? Ang unit niya class is force times distance. Force times dita distance with e which is Newton meter. Di ba parang moment, no? Newton meter. And tatandaan nyo, class, na yung Newton meter na to is also equivalent to is also equivalent to Joule, which is denoted as letter J. Okay? So, wag na wag nyo kakalimutan, class. Therefore, work is equal to 5196.15 joule. Okay? So so sometimes pa pwedeng gumamit ng newton meter as the unit, pero usually kapag ka work, ang pinag-uusapan natin dapat naka-joule siya. Okay, joule yung unit natin, letter J. So, eto na class yung work na inexert natin para madala yung box from this point up to this point. Yun yung work na in-exert natin. Okay? So, very easy, no? Kasi kinakailangan, tandaan nyo lang yung formula na work is equal to force times the distance. Diba? Parang moment, no? Pero, ang kaibahan is, eto, yung force at distance is same direction, pero yung moment is perpendicular distance. Diba?
So, ganun siya. So, what else? What else? So, let's try example number 2. So, sige. Let's try example number 2. When a 1 kilogram box slides from rest down a plane which is 4 meters long with its upper end at a height of 2 meters from the floor. Determine the frictional force and the work done by friction if the box reaches the bottom with a velocity of 2 meters per second squared. Okay, so meron to class friction and alam ko na discuss ko na class sa inyo yung friction last face to face meeting. So, I hope meron, kayo na, meron na kayong idea about friction. That friction is the resisting force kapag ka may isang object na gumagalaw sa surface. Okay? So, sige. I-drawing natin. FBD. So, let's say FBD. Drawing natin class para mas mag-visualize natin. So, meron na tayong plane. Tapos, syempre, merong angle yan. Yung plane na yan. Let's say, pero hindi na banggit, no? This is angle theta na lang. Tapos, meron tayong object. It starts from rest down the plane. So, ibig sabihin, nagsimula siya dito. Sa pinakataas. No? Tapos, syempre, dito siya babagsak. Pinakababa. Okay? So, ayan siya. Tapos, ang weight daw niya is 1 kilogram. And, ang mass daw niya is 1 kilogram. And, alam natin class na yung na yung plane is nabanggit sa problem 4 meters long. Tapos, yung height na to nung plane surface natin is 2 meters. Nabangit sa problem of 4 meters long with its upper end at a height of 2 meters from the floor. Ito class yung floor natin. Ito yung ating floor. So, note ako na din dito. Ito class yung ating floor. Tapos, may plane dyan, 2 meters from the floor. Okay? So, sabi dito, determine the frictional force and the bot and the work done by the friction, if the box reaches both the bottom with a velocity of 2 meters per second squared. So, hindi siya 2 meters per second squared. So, alisin nyo yan. 2 meters per second lang siya. So, therefore, ang final velocity dito is 2 meters per second. Sabi dun sa problem. And, sabi ko sa inyo, class, pagka tapos nyo mag-drawing dyan, ang next step nyo gagawin lagi is ilagay nyo yung mga forces na nag exert dun sa object natin, which is yung weight niya. Siyempre, kung pababa yung kanyang um, kung pababa yung kanyang pag-travel na pag ganyan, therefore, yung frictional force natin is paakyat. This is frictional force. Tapos, meron tayong normal reaction, which is N. Yun yung lagi ko sa inyo sinasabi. Pag nakasalat yung isang object, meron yan lagi normal reaction. Okay? And, kung ilalagay natin class yung angle, yung mga components nila, kung ano class yung angle dito, sa plane na to, siya yung angle dito. ba Kaya eto, pwede natin i-project na pa ganyan. So, this is yung kanyang WX. This is yung WY niya. Okay? And, kung nagsimula siya sa rest, therefore, V initial is equal to 0. Okay? Nagsimula siya sa rest. V initial is equal to 0. And, yung W natin is equal to MG. Okay? So, solution tayo. Ang pinapahanap sa atin is frictional force. So, lagay natin required. 
required is equal to frictional force. Pinapanap sa ating class, what is the frictional force? Okay? Ano daw yung force, yung resisting force na to habang nag slide yung object natin pa baba? So, solution. Solution. Hindi nyo ba class napapansin na kapag nagsasolve tayo ng mga ganitong problem na naka-islant na ganyan, ang usually lang man ginagawa natin is summation ng forces horizontal is equal to zero. So, paulit-ulit lang yan. Ang gawin nyo class, so x na lang. So, x is equal to zero. Ito class yung inyong x. Tapos, ito class yung inyong y. Diba? Paulit-ulit lang yan. Pero, syempre, meron pa baba to. Um, nagtatravel siya pa baba. Therefore, meron siya acceleration. Kaya, i-equate natin siya sa ma. Sige. So, sub summation of forces horizontal is equal to zero. Ilagay natin class yung mga forces na na to the na horizontal. Ano ba yung mga forces na horizontal? Kung titingnan nyo dito, sa x natin. Kung titignan nyo class pa x natin na ganyan, yung x-axis natin, ang included in the forces dyan is yung frictional force tsaka yung weight. So, w x minus frictional force is equal to ma. Bakit ba class w x ang positive? Eh, to the left siya. Kasi class, pag ganun yung motion niya. Yung motion niya is pa is papunta sa baba, papunta to the left. Therefore, yung acceleration niya is pababa. Kaya class, yung WX ang positive natin, hindi frictional force. Okay? So, kung WX yan, that is W. Ano ba ang WX? Ito. Since ito ang angle natin, W sin theta yan. Sin theta minus frictional force is equal to MA. So, before we proceed that, kasi wala pa naman tayong masasolve, meron, meron ba tayong weight? So, meron na, I think, frictional force. Meron na ba tayong acceleration? Wala pa. Mas meron na tayo. So, let's call this first equation number one. And then, solve natin ibang values. Ang nakikita kong ibang values na pwede natin masolve, since meron tayong given na velocity is... Yung acceleration. Using kinematics, no note ko dito. Using kinematics. Using kinematics. Using kinematics class, ang formula natin, kapag ka included yung velocity, yung distance, so lagay ko, this is distance. Yung distance, tsaka yung acceleration is 2 2a times final distance which is s1 minus initial distance so is equal to final velocity squared minus initial velocity squared syempre magka-cancel tayo dyan kasi nagsimula tayo sa rest nagsimula sa rest initial velocity is 0 nagsimula sa rest initial distance is 0 Therefore, ang matitira na lang sa atin is, ito na lang, matitira na lang is 2 AS final distance is equal to velocity final squared. O diba, masasolve na natin class yung acceleration. Solving for acceleration, lipat natin sa kabila yung hindi acceleration dyan. So, A is equal to VF, V final squared is equal to na over 2 final distance. Therefore, A is equal to final velocity natin. Ito na class, so given na 2 meters per second, that is 2 squared over 2 times yung distance natin. Ito yon 4 meters. Kasi up to this point, to this point, 4 meters yun. So, this is 4. So, compute natin what is acceleration. Input natin. So, 2 
squared over 2 times 4 equals 1 half or 0 0.5 meters per second squared. So, ang acceleration pala natin class, yung acceleration pala nung object natin down the plane is 0 0.5 meters per second squared. Okay, so yung acceleration natin, pwede na natin class i-input dito yan. So, lagyan natin ng note. Substitute. A is equal to 0 0.5 meters per second squared to equation number 1. Pag sinubstitute natin class yung value ng acceleration sa equation number 1, yung W natin, ito yun, W sin theta minus frictional force is equal to ma. Ito equation number 1, diba? Substitute natin class 0 0.5, pero Palitan na rin natin class yung mga alam nating values yung W, that is mg, mg, sine 30, 30 ba yun? Walang binigay, no? Okay, hanapin pa natin yung theta. So, hanapin pala natin yung theta. Pero kayong choice class, kung hahanapin nyo class yung, pwede nyo class hanapin yung theta or gumamit kayo ng triangle. Explain ko sa inyo. Minus friction force is equal to, ang mass natin is 1 kilogram times yung acceleration is 0 0.5. No need the class, I isipin pa yung units kasi consistent naman siyang meters per second squared tsaka meters. Okay? So, bingo ko yun ng technique. Sa so, pagkuha ng angle. So, proper to to sa trigon trigonometry, hindi ko alam kung familiar kayo. So, let's say, titriangle nyo, di ba? Drawing natin. Black na lang, no? Parang mas malino. Let's say, this is your triangle. This is 4 meters and this is 2. Tapos, ang angle nyo is nandito, di ba? So, basically, masasolve nyo talaga yung angle nyo. That is sine theta kasi opposite over adjacent. So, opposite nyo is 2 over 4. So, po pwede nyo class ganito gawin. Pwede nyo class kunin yung angle theta and then input nyo dito. Or, yung sine theta na yan is palitan nyo ng buo. Ito, 2 over 4 na yan. Palitan nyo ng buo yung sine theta na yan ng buo. So, ang mangyayari dyan is mg, ang m nyo class is 1 times yung gravity nyo is 9.81 times yung sine theta nyo is eto, 2 over 4, that is 2 over 4 minus frictional force which is yung hinahanap natin is equal to 1 times 0 0.5 that is still 0 0.5 so sulat natin. So, ang pinapahanap sa ating class is yung frictional force. Ito. Therefore, ang frictional force natin is equal to lipat nyo sa kabila ito. Frictional force. Tapos ito dito. Frictional force. Lipat nyo to sa kabila. So, ito. Lipat nyo dun sa kabila. Tapos ito. Tapos ito. Ilipat nyo dito sa kabila. Palitin nyo. Para ma dapat maiwan sa kabilang equal sign yung isa, yung frictional force lang. So, pag in-input nyo yan, so, pag in-input natin yan sa calc Q, 1, so, wag, so 1, sige, lagay nyo na 1 times 9.81. So, kahit hindi nyo na class ilagay na yung 1, understood na yun. Over, uh, 2 over 4, Sabi natin, minus, syempre, kung itong frictional force, ilipan natin sa kabila, at ito, ililipan natin sa kabila, minus, 0 0.5 na lang to Therefore, ang frictional force pala natin is 
zero five four point four zero five newtons to kasi force yan therefore eto na class yung ating frictional force kaya ba you see class alam nyo ba simula pa nung frictional force hanggang dito sa work energy hindi eh Simula pa nung dun sa may Newton's Law of Motion, puro sa motion of forces, horizontal, vertical lang tayo. Alam nyo ba yung sobrang importante ng formula natin na si summation forces horizontal, summation force vertical, saka summation of moment? Kaya wala naman tayong moment dyan, kaya ang ginagamit lang natin summation of forces horizontal, saka vertical. So, puro ganun lang, puro ganun, dadagdagan lang ng iba-ibang topic or components yung last time is nagdagdagan lang ng friction force na wala sa Newton's law of motion this time work nadagdagan lang ng work di ba padagdag lang nagpapadagdag pero puro ganun yung process di ba so ito kasi yung frictional force so to find so kung hanapin natin class yung work done ang work done so lagay natin So, finding work. So, kung hanapin natin class yung work. Work done by, by the friction. Work done by the friction. Therefore, class, kung work done ang hinanap natin by the friction, therefore, W is equal to Frictional force yung gagamitin natin. Frictional force times yung kanyang displacement. Okay? So, therefore, ang work done by frictional force is ito, yung force na to. 4.405 newtons times yung distance natin na 4 meters. 4 meters. Therefore, ang work done by the friction force is 4 times 4.0. 4, 5. Multiply nyo na lang. O, answer na yan, class. Answer. Mm -hmm. No, wala, no? So, 4.405 times 4 is equal to 17.62 17.62 newton meters or 17.62 joules. Okay? So, ganun lang. Ito class yung ating work done by the friction force. So, ayan siya. Okay? So, let's try our last problem. Hindi ko alam class kung magagawa ko pa yung magagawa ko pa ng video yung friction. Eh, meron naman na dito. Meron naman na dito yung involved na friction. So, I hope magkaka-idea na kayo dito. Kahit pa paano. Same lang din naman yung concept ng friction sa mission of force horizontal at vertical. Okay? So, puro ganun lang siya pa ulit-ulit lang. It's already 3 a.m. pala. So, sige, tapusin natin to, yung last problem. Energy naman to. A constant force is applied on a block having a mass of 4 kilograms and changes its velocity from 4 meters per second and to 8 meters per second for a distance of 20 meters. Determine the force applied using work energy theorem. Drawing natin. Drawing pa din natin. So, sige, i-drawing natin. Okay. So, i-drawing natin. So, meron to tayong block. Tapos, from this point, up to this point, yung velocity daw niya, yung velocity 1 daw niya, is nagbago. From 4, 
meters per second naging 8 meters per second dahil sa force na inapply natin. Dahil sa force na inapply natin. And this point up to this point ay meron siyang distance na 20 meters. Okay? So, ayan. Determine the force applied ito, which is yung force na inapply natin, using work energy theorem. Take note class na yung work energy, wala pala to sa, wala ata sa module nyo, no? Work energy theorem states that work is equal to um, kinetic energy I think ito. the work energy theorem states that the, uh, the net work done by uh, to the object is equal to the final kinetic energy but back KN the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy na nandun sa object natin. So, eto na class yung formula. Ulitin ko, the work energy theorem states that the final kinetic, uh, the, the net work done by the object is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. So, ito yung formula na kailangan nyo tandaan. And, alam natin class, na yung kinetic energy is ito, 1 half mv squared. So, let's try to substitute yung formula na yan. Therefore, ang W net natin is equal to 1 half mv squared minus 1 half mv squared. Tama? Pero syempre, dito sa object natin, ang initial velocity natin is yung 4 meters, which is v, v sub 1. And yung final velocity natin, which is v sub 2. Kaya class, ang formula ng work natin, dito, sa may instance na to, na nangyari dun sa object, is w is equal to 1 half mv sub 1 squared minus 1 half mv sub 2 squared. Or, pwede natin i-factor out yung 1 half m. W is equal to 1 half m times quantity b sub 1 minus pwede natin i-factor out yan. So, b sub 1 squared minus b sub 2 is squared. Okay? So, ayun na class. Yan yung work done sa object. Yan yung W net. Kapag ka ginamit natin class yung work energy theorem. Determine the force applied using work energy theorem. So, let's try to solve first yung work. So, work is equal to 1 half M. Ang mass natin is ano yung mass natin class? Ang mass natin is 4 kilograms. 4 kilograms times yung initial velocity natin is 4 squared minus final velocity natin is 8 is squared. Okay? So, therefore, ang work done pala sa object natin using work energy theorem is try natin i-type so, 1 half times 4 times quantity 4 squared minus 8 squared is equal to mm -hmm. o oh, baliktad balik baliktad ano ba yun baliktad baliktad to o oh, tinan nyo to klasa baliktad yung naisulat ko final Final kinetic energy. Dapat, ito ay 
Dapat ito ay V sub 2. Kaya pala naging negative. Tapos this is V sub 1. Therefore, balik ta din to. This is V sub 2 squared minus V sub 1 squared. So, balik ta dito. Therefore, 8. 8 squared minus 4 squared. Ayan. So, balik ta rin natin. This is 8 squared minus 4 squared. 96. O, diba? 96. 96 newton meter. Eh, hindi na, yun ba yung pinapahanap sa ating class? Hindi. Ang pinapahanap sa ating class is yung force exerted to the object. But we know, class, na yung work is equal to work is equal to force times yung distance, di ba? O, di therefore, kung force times yung distance, force is equal to work over distance. O, lipat lang natin doon sa kabila, di ba? E na kuha na natin work eh. Therefore, work, uh, force is equal to, ang work natin is 96 newton meter over. Yung distance na tinravel niya is 20 meters. O diba? So, over 20 meters. Makakancel itong meters. Kaya ang matitira na lang dyan is newton. So, tama yan. Force is equal to 96 over 20. Pagka nagsasolve kayo, class, tapos na-type nyo na yun na ganyan, pwede nyo na agad i-divide. Di nyo lalabas agad yan answer. Yung answer na yun, class, is yung previous na answer na palabas nyo sa CalQ. Answer, divide, 20. Therefore, makukuha natin is 4.8 newtons. 4.8 newtons. Ito na class yung pinapahanap sa atin na force na inexert dun sa object para magkaroon ng change in velocity from 4 meters per second nung inapply ng force naging 8 meters per second. Okay? So, pinagamit sa atin yung work energy theorem and work energy theorem states that the network done on the object is equal to the final kinetic energy minus initial kinetic energy. So, tandaan nyo yan, class, yung formula na yan. So, I think that is it. Hanggang dito na lang, yung sa may work energy, work and energy nyo sa physics. Pag-iisipan ko, class, kung gagawa ko pa yung friction kasi na-discuss ko naman siya last meeting, yung face-to-face. So, if hindi ko na siya magawa ng class, kasi, tapusin ko pa yung pag-encode ng grades nyo lahat. I think meron naman kayong solution sa module nyo eh. Nung diniscuss ko din. So, andyan siya. So, yan. Hanggang dito na lang class yung work and energy. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan kahit konti. And thank you so much.